Good. All right, we got Coach Roddy Summers here. Westwood's practice tomorrow. It's going to be another region game, Ridgeview. Coach, you're undefeated, ranked number seven in the state. But uh, obviously, we, we know that Ridgeview is a capable, talented team with a bunch of big guys. Oh, yeah. They, I mean, you know, we, but we can't take these guys lightly at all. You know, look at their record. And uh, they hadn't won, a, but I think, two ball games. But if you look at who they played, uh, North Augusta, Goose Creek, uh, Dutch, Dutch Fort, Fort. Mm -hmm. three really quality teams that they lost to. And, and you know, we just uh, we feel like they've been battle tested. And we know that, that they, they, they probably feel like we haven't been. So mm -hmm. uh, this will be a great test for us this week. 7 and 0. Oh. Sounds good. It's got to feel good. But in reality, everything's just really getting started. It is. It? You know, we're trying to tell our guys region play is where it counts. And uh, we can't look in the past. we got to really look ahead of what every week now and uh, try to play uh, even better than what we've been playing. We felt like last week we had a little lack of intensity and focus maybe coming out against Lugolf. So, uh, you know, we just want to make sure we pick up the intensity this week. And I think our guys will be in a Richland 2 rivalry game. Uh, you know, Ridgeview's right down the street. And the guys, they know they know each other. And yeah. so I think they'll, they'll be up for this game. Have you had a good week of practice? We have, other than the Tuesday with the inclement weather that did not come through. But, uh, you know, they made a call. And uh, district level did. And, and not just our district, but other districts as well. And, and so we, we couldn't practice that day. But we tried to make up for it yesterday. Went longer than we normally go on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully that one day off did not uh, hurt us, but we're both teams were in the same boat. So, you know, it was even. We're on an even slate. Coach, we've talked about your offense. We've talked about your defense this year, and they, they both have great numbers. They're both getting the job done. Is I'm just curious, is one ahead of the other, or are they truly just right there, and both obviously excellent, but right there together? You know, I made a comment, I think, and uh, you know, about no, we don't really have great players. When we have good players, we have great players, you know, but I don't think we have a, you know, just that one guy that just makes a difference. We just have guys that get in the right position. Offensively, defensively, they just make the right plays at the right times, it seems like. Uh, you know, there's plenty of mistakes. You turn the film on, we're finding lows, we're finding mistakes. And those are the things that, you know, as a coach, you just, you know, you, 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 you drive you crazy when you teach them and coach them something, and they do it over and over. And we're still making those, and, and hopefully those won't kill us in a ball game to have it yet. So uh, we haven't put that perfect game together by all means yet. It's got to be exciting, though, to be where you are at this point, knowing that you can get a lot better. That's got to be, in a way, a really good thing. In yeah, a sense. it is. You know, being you know seven and zero right now, playing the way we've been playing. You know, we've been, I thought you know we have been playing pretty good. But again, you know, what can we do when we do put that perfect game together? And uh, that's something exciting to, to know that it's out there and that you can do it. And uh, that's what we're trying to challenge them every week, strive to to get better and better each and every week. Last thing, you got a big rivalry game a week from this a week from Friday against your your down the street rival Blythewood. You've also so got Dutch Fork left, you got Spring Valley left. Any concern about the kids looking ahead to these huge games? You know, it's a gauntlet, these next four games. It's it's they're gonna be tough. It's it's uh something that we we've told them and, and the kids know that Blythewood's down the road, Dutch Fort's down the road, Spring Valley, and then hopefully playoffs, but you know, we're not in the playoffs. You know, we could you know, we could mess this thing up and not get in. So we we've got to take it one game at a time and, and try to make sure we're in the playoffs. And then uh, what happens these next four games is really going to determine where we where we are. So we just we need to take it one game at a time and hopefully stay focused. And that's what we're trying to do. Coach Rodney Summers, good luck against Ridgeview on Friday. Looking forward to seeing you guys play. I'm going to try to be out a week from this Friday in the Blythewood game. And I just can ask you, can you get some good-looking gear, man? I mean, for goodness <laughs> sakes, can you find some decent threads to wear around hey, here? Yeah, we do a pretty good job. Uh, Bart <laughs> Owens with BSN Sports hooks us up. So uh, I tell you, uh, every year we uh, you know we try to do our best. If there's a sharper-looking team in the Midlands, I got to see you, man. <laughs> Hey, thank Roddy, you. thank you, buddy. Take care. All right.